Keywords. What are they? Why are they important? How can you find the most important ones and build your perfect keyword list to the benefit of your product? That's what we're covering today. And if you enjoyed this, drop it a quick like. If you want to stay ahead of your competition, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to support our work here, watch an ad or two. Now let's jump straight in. What are keywords? Well, as a seller, keywords are your key words or your important words, but they're much more easily understood as customer search terms. Anytime a customer goes online, they use the search box to search a term, and this is called a customer search term. For example, wooden phone docking station. And if that customer search term is aimed at finding your product, then as a seller, that is one of your key words. Of course, if you sell wooden phone docking stations, that's definitely one of your keywords. So keywords and customer search terms are the exact same thing. We're going to use them interchangeably from here on. So why are keywords important? Well, if you know which keywords customers use in order to try and find your product, then you can build out your online content in line with those same keywords. And if you sell wooden phone docking stations on Amazon and you know that exact term is used by customers to try and find that product, then your product detail page or listing should possess that same keyword. Because then the Amazon search engine sees your listing as highly relevant when a customer types in that search term. Therefore, the customer is going to find what they're looking for. And the exact same process would be true for your Shopify store, but using the Google search engine. And this is the art of ranking, which is short for search engine ranking. Of course, you want to be returned as the first result for that customer's search term. This gives you maximum visibility and the highest chance of converting that customer. And if you are the first result, then you are rank one for that keyword or that customer search term. If you are in second position, rank two, and so on. What are short, medium, and long tail keywords? Well, this simply refers to the length of the keyword, but there are certain characteristics of each that you need to know. Short tail keywords. These usually comprise one to two words, and the search volume is, of course, really high. Customers usually use these basic terms. The competition is also very high because all the sellers or service providers want to rank highly here. And an example of this would be docking station. Medium tail. These are between three and four words. The search volume is medium to high. Competition is also medium to high. And an example would be phone docking station and long tail. These are five or more words. The search volume is lower to medium volume. Competition, low to medium. And an example would be wooden phone docking station organizer. And even though short tails are searched the most, they're also the most competitive. So for that reason, as a seller, your best bet is actually to have a mix of short, medium, and long tail keywords. And the big question, how can you find your most important keywords? The biggest rule before we begin this is all the keywords should be relevant to what you see. Sell. There is no point trying to rank and be a top returned result for a keyword or customer search that is not aimed at finding your product. You might show up high, you might even rank number one, but they're not looking to buy your product. So it is a waste of time and space for keywords and sometimes PPC spend. But today I'm going to use a dedicated tool for this. I am going to be showcasing Helium 10. Now Helium 10 has not sponsored this video or asked me to make it. This is the tool I recommend. I think they have the most powerful keyword suite. But if you are interested in this tool suite, you can save massively on Helium 10 using my link in the description below. And yes, that does support our work here. But here's how you can use three of their tools in a three step sequence to build your perfect keyword list. And we're going to begin with Cerebro. This is a reverse ASIN search. You input your top three competitor ASINs and this tool is going to provide you with a keyword list based on the keywords that perform the best for those existing products. Step number one, this is to identify your top three competitors, find their listings, and then you are going to copy their ASINs. And you can do so from any tools or you can click into their listing and find the ASIN beneath product info. Paste the three into Cerebro and click get keywords. Step two, here you're going to scroll down and have a look at the results. You'll see all the keywords and a ton of columns. Now the keywords are ordered based on competitor performance score. This means how well these three as a group perform for each of these keywords. The one they best perform for is first and so on. So this is actually a good default order. And there are 50 keywords per page. 
page. So select all 50 on page one and all 50 on page two, and you're gonna add them to a new list. And you can call that list or better known as a folder product name, 100 high performance. So you know exactly what this is. So now you have 100 keywords that these three competitors perform best for. Step three, navigate to your keyword list and open the saved folder. Now order the keywords by search volume high to low by clicking search volume. You now have 100 keywords that perform best for those competitors and in order of how often they're searched by customers on Amazon. Step four, Move through the list and select those that aren't relevant keywords. For example, any of those that are looking for personalized, as we are not offering personalization with our product. In those cases, the customer is actually looking for a different product. Add these to a new low relevance folder. Step five, here you're gonna move through this list and you're gonna look for those keywords that aren't perfectly relevant or that indicate like a subset of keywords where customers are actually buying this product through a different purpose or from a different angle. For example, men's Valentine's gifts. This customer may buy our product, but they may also buy a different product. Also those containing other brand names. Add these to a new medium relevance folder. Step six, move through and select any misspells like this of highly relevant keywords and you're gonna add them to a new misspell folder. Step seven, move through this list and select the highly relevant keywords for your exact product. For example, when someone types this, wood phone docking station, they are looking for our exact product. And these are often medium to long tail keywords where customers get more specific. Add them to a new highly relevant folder. Step eight, go to your keyword folders and rename this original folder to product name relevant. These are our second best keywords between medium and high relevance. You now have five folders. Each includes keywords that are low relevance, medium relevance, just relevant, high relevance, and misspells. Step nine, go to your high relevance folder, order by search volume, and copy the top keyword. This is your highest search volume, highest relevance keyword. Go to the next tool, which is magnets. And this is where you can perform your normal keyword research. Drop in the keyword and click get keywords. You can ensure relevance by looking at the top three products here. If these are similar to what you sell, then this keyword is very relevant. And when customers use it, this is what they look to buy. I recommend setting a minimum word count of two here then click apply and sort the results by search volume, high to low. And the goal here is to find additional high volume keywords. We probably have most of them because we have a hundred from those top three competitors. But this is just doing another sweep to make sure we have all of them and we're gonna add those to our pre-made folders. So move through this list, ignore the irrelevant keywords, but add relevant keywords depending on their nature to either just the relevant folder, high, medium, or low relevance folders, or the misspell folder. For example, from this, we found some medium relevance keywords, mainly surrounding searching this product as a gift. Relevant keywords like charging station and docking station, and highly relevant keywords. And step 10, on each keyword folder, click copy to clipboard and then open misspellinator. Then drop in the copied keywords. And this is misspell research. So we can find all the misspellings and then we can add them to our misspell folder. And there is a limit of 50 words per search here, but you can run it a few times. Once pasted in, filter for common words, click prepare, and then get the misspells. And once this processes, you can see that the words in the lowest 5% of popularity aren't checked for Amazon autocorrect, but those above 5% popularity are. So choose to select all those that are not autocorrected by Amazon as we wanna add these to our listing. Comb through the list and remove any pre-selected ones you don't need, like these random two or three letter ones. And then back at the top, click export to CSV, only the selected misspells. Open that doc, delete the first column and shift the misspell column across 
to that first column and resave it. Open your misspelled folder, add keywords, and then add them via CSV by selecting that saved document. Now all your misspells will be in this folder. You now have five folders of the most important keywords for your Amazon listing. Of course, the most important ones are your highly relevant keywords. And in part two of this series, I'm going to explain exactly how you can now use these keywords within your listing to ensure optimum ranking with the Amazon search engine and the highest chance of converting buyers. As an example, we can already see here, we have phone docking station, wood phone docking station, and docking station for men. So a great way to start this title would be wood phone docking station for men, as that would include our top three highest search volume highest relevance keywords. But much more on that in part two of the series, which once it is complete, I will link in the pinned comment and in the end screen of this video. And if you do like this approach and tool suite and you wanna save on the Helium 10 tool suite while supporting our work, you can find the Helium 10 link in the pinned comment right below this video and in the description. And before you go, if you did enjoy this video, please drop me a quick like. If you want to stay ahead of your competition, don't forget to subscribe. But I hope this helps you build the perfect keyword list and rank number one for your product's keywords. I'll catch you in the next video.